Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you two exercises. One is really going to work your shoulders and one is going to be about your hamstrings mostly. It's also going to work your arms a little bit. So the first one is called a planche rock and it's going to start, the progression starts kind of like a down dog in yoga. So I'll start by showing you that. The planche is where your shoulders are going to go out farther than your hands. So if you're in this down dog position, where your feet are shoulder width apart, hands are shoulder width apart, you just want to come up this way a little bit. You rock forward, so almost into a plank, and then you can push back. Now, the progression works up to being on, having your feet up on something, and this is gonna be the hardest spot. So your arms are totally underneath your shoulders, you're in sort of an L, and then you go out, and you try to make yourself as flat as you can be, and then push back. So this is where the exercise is. These are the reps where you do one and back up and two and try to hold it for two full counts before you come back up. Now, to make that easier, you just scoot your hands out farther and don't rock quite as much. Um, like I said, to do that, the camera. to do that um, in a little easier way would be to start with that plant in a push-up position you're sort of rocking forward, or to coming from that down dog position and rocking your shoulders out. You see how my shoulders are farther than my hands, and then you can kind of get a little bit of a rest there in between. All right, so that's one exercise to try. The other one, hamstring drops. I usually would recommend doing this with someone who can hold your feet, but if you don't have a person who can help you on this, that's okay. Um, using something that's really heavy, like the edge of a bed or a sofa, is going to work just fine too. So that's what I'm going to do to show you. So today, I'm going to stick my feet or my heels underneath the sofa. The idea is to keep yourself in a straight line from your shoulders, hips, and your knees as far as you can. So you can just rock like this. You'll feel it in your hamstrings right away. And try to stay straight. You're really going to need to squeeze your, your butt behind you too. Arms stay by your side. And then the advanced version of this is to drop into a push-up. So if you come all the way out as far as you can, and then slowly do a push-up from there. Then you can use your arms in the push-up to come back up. I'm going to redo the push-up, which you normally wouldn't do. And then once you get to that point where you kind of have to work, don't use the momentum of that push-up anymore. Just pull yourself back up with your hamstrings. So we go down, push up, pause, and pull. So the whole sofa just came up off the ground and working so much on that. So that's the idea is that you actually have to use your hamstrings a lot to get yourself back up. Now you don't want to go down like this. That's not staying straight. And you don't want to come down and then work back up. But if there's a way to work into that, it would be to go down as flat as you can and then do your push up and walk yourself back. And that's fine as a progression. So down all the way up would be the most advanced version of it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And good luck with trying these two workouts.